Hi, this is Randy from Friday's Golf, and welcome to an official course vlog. I'm out here at Pine Valley. You might remember the course vlog we posted last year where I was out here with Caleb and Brian, and guess who I brought with me again? Caleb. How you doing? You look so professional right now with that visor. You just look real clean. Uh, so we, we're going to do as many holes as we can get in until my battery dies. We are currently on the 12th hole. Yep. 12th hole, par 5. This hole... Dog leg left, a little bit up the hill. What, what are we looking at distance wise here? I think it's close to 600. Close to 600? We might be exaggerating, but we say close to 600. Up the hill, a uh, little downwind, so it's really just rip driver. Yeah. Uh, there's the bunker on the right, trees on the left, so you just want to take it down the right hand side with a little draw. All right, show us away. Scoot in on that. Hold on. Too far away. There we go. All right. Give me a look. Leaking with the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Just started right, stayed right. Get to hit my new epic. Let's see how it goes. It's been going well so far. Don't draw too much. Stay there. Ah, that was deep. This is where Caleb ended up. He has 315 yards in. He can't get there, so he's just going to go ahead and lay up. What are you hitting, 7 iron? Yeah, 6. 6 iron? Where are you taking it? Left side? Cut, right. Hit it left side of this baby tree straight ahead. Okay. So about right of that, that tower right there. Yeah. Okay, flag sits right there just to the play right of it. I'm going to play a cut with a cut wind. Yeah, it's cutting. That should be perfect, right? I hope. Hit it right. Hit it the left side of that tower, and it kind of came back to the center of the fairway. Hopefully, there is water trouble up there, so <laughs> hopefully avoided that. Yeah. Here's where I ended up left side. Normally this would be a green light uh, at 275 left, but uh, fairway wood out of this gnarly lie right here, and it's all carryover water. So instead, I'm gonna hit a hybrid uh, right over this tree and just play it straight and let the wind push it right and hopefully back to the center of the fairway. Hopefully. Sound good, Caleb? Yeah, I think that's a good play. Is that what you would advise me to do if yeah. you were my caddy? I would actually advise you to hit an iron, but... Nah, hybrid's better. Play your game. This is what Caleb has in for his third, it kind of flirting with the hazard there, but he stayed dry, so he is fine. You can see uh, right there is the flag stick. It's kind of hiding in the in the shadows there. Uh, what did you say the number was? 103? 103. All right, he's got 103 in. What are you hitting? Hit a knockdown 54. He's going to hit a 54 degree. His feet are going to be slightly below him. This kind of all filters into the pond there, so gonna have to you probably aim right at it right and let the wind push it back to the flag yeah uh, where's your line i take it to the right of it okay right over that hazard stake. stick yeah right over the stake i like that oh boy i pulled that one get over here. hop it okay snuck into the trap <laughs> got devoured by the rough well, the good news is, is I am pin high. Uh, bad news is, is that I am short-sighted. I have to hit over this bunker, and my lie is literally fried. It is sitting on hard pan with a tuft of grass behind it, so I can't really flop it. Uh, I guess my only option, Caleb, my caddy, informed me, is to... Uh, Really just take my highest lofted club and try to get cute with it and land it on the top of that bank and hopefully it trickles onto the green. But I don't really 
really have a lot of options here, and I don't, I really don't want to blade this. executed starting to feel some of that wind now that I was talking about uh, here's what Caleb has left uh, pretty straightforward bunker shot up the hill I'm not behind uh, the ball there because actually all I would see is his face hey there's me what are you hitting 58 shot now we're going back up the hill you can see that mound that I was aiming for but I flew it pin high and there was just no chance of holding the green from there so I have a 54 degree I'm just gonna do a little bit of bump and run and hopefully chase it up there close to the hole I think we choked away some birdie opportunities here, Caleb. I did too. All right. I got about, I don't know, 12 feet left for par. Uh, it's going to break down this way. So I'm going to aim probably a cup, cup and a half outside the hole and let it trickle down. Your par, so it looks like at least one of us knows what we're doing. Right. I don't know. I'm just gonna say straight. Yeah, it looks, looks to be maybe it does anything, but I'm not gonna give up the hole either direction. Yeah. I think if it breaks, it's less than a cup, so roll it in the center. Bar. Thank you. I hate it when a guy with a visor beats you on a hole. We're number 13, it's par 3, playing 155 yards, uh, pin sits all the way back. It's a blue flag again, so you can't see it of course, but it's sitting right about there. It's dead center of the green, two bunkers I think guard this green left. Yeah, there's one right, one left. One right, one left. But flag's in the middle, so it's really just right at the flag. Yeah. Nothing crazy here. Wind's blowing left to right, uh, but slightly helping us. We're both hitting pitching wedges. I promise we're not monsters. It's just, it's, you know, 20 mile an hour wind, so it's helping the ball quite a bit, and it's very firm out here. That looks good. Push it, wind. Just left of the flag. Oh my gosh. Did that go deep? Yeah. You're a monster. Divisor. <laughs> Did you go full to this stock wedge? Yeah. Uh, you're bigger than me, so I'm gonna go stock wedge. I just don't. I don't see how a pitching wedge is gonna go 160. That was awful, I almost missed that. 
Caleb, uh, just over the back of the green, this is tough because it's hard to show you how slopey this is, but it actually is pretty severe uh, above the hole and coming down pretty fast. So you just got to just get it started, right? Started. Yeah, just get it onto the fringe and let it trickle. Much break to it at all? I'd say going to the left here, up this hill. Pretty okay. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it's going to fall down this way. Yeah. Are you bellying it? No? no? Just going to chunk it? Chunk and run? Chunk and run. Chunk and run. I like that. Well played. Watch this. Watch this. Ah, good shot. Well played, sir. Here, let me give you the camera. You don't have to mark that. It's a foot long. Okay. As we can see here, Randy, who hit such a bad shot, <laughs> has a 25 footer left for birdie. Now, this is more like 35. You gotta go this way, or you're kind of that way. Yeah, mine kind of broke down towards the right. Um, but you're on that hill, so I think it's going to be a double, okay. a double whammy there. Broke that way the whole time. Yeah, that was just weird. I thought this was the low side. Yeah, mine kind of fell down and yours... Yeah. Alright, whatever. This good? That's I good. I gave you yours. You gotta give me mine. Good part. All right, on to the next. All right, we're, we're doing something really stupid here. And this is kind of a quirky little hole, and you'll see here in a second what I mean by that. It's a par four, but it it's only 310 yards. It's playing into the wind, which is kind of, that's not helping us. But you can see kind of through the trees there, the green sits back over this way. And since the wind's blowing, a little bit right to left, we think we can hit a draw up over here and get it up there by the green. What do you think the chances are here of this happening? I think it's pretty good. I'm feeling... You're an idiot. I'm feeling quite... <laughs> you're, you're, you're just trying to show off so when you do pull it off, it looks like you meant to. And you're going... Oh, I guess we kind of have to go all the way to the side of the tee box here, don't we? Yeah. All right, man. Well, let me scoot this up for you. See what you got. See if you can pick it up over. Oh, that was so close. He caught maybe just the last little leaf up there. And I think that's gotta be wet, right? I don't know, it may have gotten left. You think so? But it may be in somebody's backyard. I don't think there's room up there left. I'm not gonna get as gutsy as you just did. I think the wind will help it draw enough. Alright, so I'm going to take it more at these double trees over here and hopefully draw it off of that. That way if I don't draw it enough, I'm okay. That's got to be in the fest. I, <laughs> I think I had that easy. I could have hit that. Uh, yeah, whatever. I hit that a mile. Are you doing reteeing? In case that thing went out of bounds. Oh, okay. Provisional. You might want to call it. In the provisional. You got to know, know the rules when you play this game. That's pretty good, Caleb. That's got to be. I think it's there. I don't know if it drew enough to get the green, did it? Did I go over the green? It went over the green. All right, nicely done on your second try. <laughs> this is why you don't take stupid risks. This is what I have left into a short shot where the flag sits right there. And then on the other side of that flag is water and there's a bunker there. So this should be, this should be awesome. Where's yours at? 
I don't know. Caleb did not find his first one, so he's going to have to find his second one and hopefully play that one. Did you say 30 yards? Yeah, you have about 30 yards here. I'm just going to crank open a 60. Yeah. Ugh. This, this isn't a hazard, is it, though? No. no. <laughs> this is U.S. Open style, though. This is more, yeah. I'm just going to crank open a 60 and try to put it in that bunker or something. Oh my gosh. Steep. Steep. There's no way I just did that. That is a great shot out of that. You gotta take me to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Caleb's second tee ball ended up, just over the back side of the green. You can see it all flows downward that way. Flag sits there. And you're going to hit a 56? 58. 58 degree and just kind of land it soft? Yeah, land it soft, let it trickle on down. You know what? I think I can. Yeah, we're not too bad here. Go ahead. Uh, off. Sit. Go in. Hit the flag. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see that, but he hit the flag stick. Gotta be straight. Yeah, if anything, I need to fall to the right because of the hill on the slope over here. <laughs> I can't believe that almost went in. I hit the, my putter hit the collar on the way back and it hit it on the way through. But I would take a tap and par out of the garbage fescue. All right, Caleb, this would be actually a fairly impressive bogey if you make it. Uh, which way are we we're saying this one falls this way? I think it's gonna fall. Other way? No, it's gotta go towards the water. That is water and that's where balls like to go. You play it however you want to, but it breaks this way. It's got to. Deadly. Great putt. Great bogey. Thank you. It did fall that way, though. Yeah. It did. Did you listen to me? Yeah. See? Good You're going to be my caddy next tournament. No, you be my caddy. I made par. All right, here we are on the 15th? Yep. 15th hole. It's par 5. It's playing 500 and what did we say? 71 yards. 571 yards straight into the wind. We have people. I don't know. You probably can't see because I don't have a fancy camera. They are about 350 yards out there. It, but it's into the wind, so we're going to go ahead and hit. There are small children, but we're going to play the we didn't think we could get it there card, which we shouldn't be able to. 350 into the wind, that would be epic. Oh my goodness, that's not getting there. You were scared of hitting them, weren't you? Yeah, I was just... <laughs> that was... I didn't want to get anywhere close. Okay, well, uh, I'm... It is out of bounds left, and I think the play is down the right side, but not that not far. Not that right. far right. They're playing soccer, basketball, and baseball in the golf course. It's a multi sport family. Not a multi sport facility. Oh my God. You did the same thing. <laughs> His family scared me. It's terrifying. I got you guys on camera. Oh no! You wanna know what's it? No, I'm not on Friday you, Golf. You wanna know what's embarrassing? It's when you're playing at a nice private club and the people that are treating the course like their backyard are your best friends. Yeah. You know what's more embarrassing? It's ridiculous. It's the, it's this is where my drive ended up, well right of the fairway. I have a bajillion yards in. I'm just gonna bust the three wood up towards these group of trees and hopefully with a little bit of a draw. Do you even have a yardage for me? 280 to the front. Yeah, I don't, I'm don't. i not getting there. So I, I still attest that those kids over there threw my ball back to this point, but we can't prove it.
actually not bad. That wind is horrible. I'm sure you can hear it. I apologize. How far do you have in? 250. 250 to the front? 243 to the front, 250 to the stick. All right. Caleb has 250 to the flag stick. He's going to bust a three wood, but there's no way, dude, with this wind that you're getting there. Consider that a challenge. Oh, droppy. Yeah, right. That'll work. Oh, did I catch that tree? Yeah. All right. Stayed right. Yep. All right, I got 90 yards in, roughly. Uh, I have a clear shot at the flag, but the problem is, is that we got like a 20 mile an hour wind in our face. So I'm gonna hit a 54, kind of flight it down, and hopefully knock some spin off of it. <clears throat> Distance, very good distance control. Yeah, I'll take it. That wind just devoured that. All right, Caleb has this nightmare left for his third shot. What'd you say it was 54? 56. 56 yards. He got 56 yards in, and I would give you a 20% chance of getting this inside 20 feet. This is not an easy shot. You are short sighted. There's just and it's blind out of the rough. Really nothing going for you, so good luck. Flop kind of over the hill. Pray for the best. You're going to try to, what do you, add some loft to your 58? Yeah. Okay. Oh, fly. Oh, I think it missed it by a couple. Did that go bunker? Is there a bunker even there? Should probably look before we play these shots. I think you owe me 20 bucks, didn't we bet? No, I don't. We didn't. I thought we did. Oh, good. Just keeping your 58? Yeah. 58. Just, I got to learn to not be standing in the wrong places. But anyway. I'm trying to kind of splash it out. Splash dude. shot. This is hard. Track that well. Keep running. Yeah. Gonna have about 15 feet left for his par. What do I got? 35, 30 feet? I'd say about 30. 30 feet. This is gonna come down, way. come down to the left tier. I'll come down that way. How much you think? Be kind of Slow. Go in. Oh! That was a great run at it. Far! Ah! A missed opportunity, though. How do you not birdie one of the two par fives you play in your course vlog? Embarrassing. Do I need to finish this? No. Is that good? Playing a nice, friendly game here? Yeah. I'd have made it anyway. Alright, Caleb has this left for his par. What is the score on this vlog? Are we even? Or am I beating you? Um, Caleb smoked me on the front nine. <laughs> we're tied right now. We're tied. I missed this putt. We are tied? We're going to have to check the footage on that. That's right. I did bogey the first par five. All right. It's for all the marbles. By marbles, I mean tie. Oh, that is painful. That hurt me. That was like getting kicked in the gut for me. So I can only imagine what it felt like for you. What did it feel like? It felt even worse. <laughs> I got beat by Randy. That's what you get for wearing a visor. So uh, thanks for watching. As always, I promise you he destroyed me on the front nine. I'm, that's why I'm so happy right now that I beat him for the, the vlog session. So uh, subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up the video. And we'll see you next time.